welcome to Learn and Love Music. This week we're going to look at an American composer named Louis Moreau Gottschalk. Gottschalk was not as well known as some of the 20th century American composers, but he was the first of the 19th century composers who became famous. We're going to look at four pieces today. But before we begin, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to Learn and Love Music. And we thank all of you who have been supporting us. So let's get started with the works of Louis Moreau Gottschalk. Let's talk about Louis Moreau Gottschalk. He was American, but did a lot of his education in Europe. He was not respected as much in Europe because he wrote folk songs. And one of the problems with classical musicians who were more serious, in fact, he went to the Paris Conservatoire, they kicked him out. He was more interested in taking the art of piano virtuosity and putting an American sound to it. One of the things he liked to do, he liked to take American folk songs. We're going to look at one of them now. This is the banjo. And you'll hear a lot of American folk songs in here. Actually, one in particular at the end, and that is the Camp Town Races. Before we start with the Camp Town Races, though, listen carefully to the sound of picking banjos. He loved the sound. He was from New Orleans, and so he heard a lot of the southern um, African-American sounds that come from banjos and, and clubs where the instrument was played. And he had the strumming sounds, which sound more like this. Then he had some picking sounds. And later on, you'll hear some. And that is the picking banjo with the accompaniment with it. It's a very exciting piece. And it's in the unusual key of F sharp major. Most of the time, I'll be playing on the black keys. So that makes it sort of interesting. It also gives it a different kind of flavor in the sound. So let's hear a little bit of Gottschalk's The Banjo. picking. And later on, you'll hear some a little bit more virtuoso banjo picking. Here's, here's this middle section. It's very exciting, driven by rhythm and just a fun, fun piece. At the end of the banjo, you'll find he sneaks in something familiar to all of you. Listen to this ending, and it has the Camp Town Races sort of buried into it. The you probably recognize that. So let's do the end section of the banjo. I'm not going to finish with the end section, though, because I'm saving that for those of you who are watching it on our other channel where you can hear the entire piece. So here is the end section of the banjo. Races five mile long, oh do da, oh do da day. He loved folk music from the United States, and we could hear it right here in the banjo. So don't forget to check out the entire performance later. Louis Gottschalk grew up in New Orleans. He lived near a place called Congo Square, where there were a lot of African immigrants who lived, and they shared some of this really beautiful music that they brought over from Africa. It had a very strong beat to it. And one of the things they used is a large drum called a bambula, which is a long stick. And they would just pound that stick into the ground as they were performing these 
pieces. They're very rooted in rhythm, these um, African American music that came from the Congo. And the piece, the piece is called Bambula, like the instrument, and it has a very strong, you'll hear from the very beginning, this strong rhythm. Not rhythm, but just pounding beat. And that becomes the, the most important part about the piece. This just really, really strong sense of rhythm. Later on, he gets into some beautiful melodies. Um, he uses, once again, he loved the black keys. You, we heard F sharp major before. This is in D flat major, and also he goes into F sharp minor. He was not afraid of putting lots of sharps and flats in the key signature. But he loved this music and he used it a lot in his uh, compositions throughout his whole life. So let's listen to some of Bambu La. I'll do the first section, then uh, sort of the pounding rhythm section, and then I'll do the more lyrical section that follows. fifties, salon music was really popular in Europe and later came to the United States as well. Gottschalk was one of the main proponents of salon music in the United States. They're beautiful pieces, kind of light in texture and color, but they represent an era in the middle of the century, the 19th century of Romanticism. And in this piece, we're going to look at a piece called Pasquinade. It's a caprice. And is, uh, Gottschalk wrote a lot of these salon pieces, and they're quite beautiful and have a nice sense of elegance and rhythm. A lot of this music was not accepted so much when he went over to Europe. The people in the Paris Conservatory and other places didn't like this kind of what they called trite music. But it's quite beautiful and very, very tuneful. So let me play a little bit of this piece called Pasquinade. This is a salon piece by Gottschall. music. This was really popular in the time around the Civil War and Gottschalk wrote pieces that gave tribute to those people who fought in the war and he was, even though he was from the South, he was supportive of the Union. He took a lot of the Northern patriotic songs, ones that are very familiar, including the Star Spangled Banner, Yankee Doodle, Hail Columbia, and what do you know, he put them all in one piece. He called the piece Le Union. Of course, he was from 
New Orleans where they spoke French, but also we can call it the Union, referring to the northern United States during the war. So we're going to hear several uh, of the patriotic songs that were made famous. Um, before we hear some of the tunes, he starts out the piece with the sound of cannons and guns and just a lot of noise. And as I go into the first tune, I want you to see if you recognize that first tune when it appears out of the smoke and fire and guns of the opening. So here's The Union by Gacho. <laughs> instead of a major key. This becomes one of the most important parts about this Le Union piece. Let's go on to some other pieces that might be familiar to, to you. Gottschalk loved big cadenzas and he has big cadenzas in this piece. So he's building up to some big tune. Let's see what it is. where the battles begin and we hear this trumpet call. And then we hear Hail Columbia. That's another very well-known tune from the Civil War days. And to sort of put it all together, what Gottschalk does is at the very end, he throws Yankee Doodle, Hail Columbia, and puts it all together into a grand ending. Let's listen to the end of the Union. Learn and Love Music. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation of works by Louis Moreau Gottschalk. And don't forget to check out the full performance of the banjo. I'll be doing that for you as well. Hope to see you next time on Learn and Love Music. <laughs>